Absolutely not a one run point. I'm sorry, I didn't catch the last Ty Smith. Ty Smith. And um, what I want to do is I want to talk about when we think about critical race theory, what comes to mind? Race what comes theory. to mind? When you say the word critical, what comes to your mind when you think about the word critical? I have two degrees in medicine. You know what critical means to us? Critical means that the person is almost getting ready to die or they most surely will die. So when you say critical race theory, you might think of it in the sense of, oh, this information is critical that they know as of the up and important. But when I think about critical race theory, I think about critical as in this is getting ready to kill something or kill somebody. So most likely what is going to happen when this gets taught to our children? I'll give you an example here. I was in the third grade and I was on welfare, go figure, and we had something called a lunch card. Our teacher would let the kids that got the cold lunch or got lunch from home, they got to go online first. I had to, the ones that had a lunch card, we had to go behind them. So time after time that kept on happening, I'm getting there thinking like, man, this is messed up. How come the kids that got a cold lunch? How come the kids that got lunch from school? Why did they get to go before me? I started feeling real down and bad about myself. What makes them kids more special? What makes them different? What makes them so cool that they get to go first while us with the lunch card get to go in the back? So I started piece, piecing some things together like, man, this is messed up. Why? 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 These people that got, actually got the lunch, the ones that had the cold lunch, the ones that had to go get to go first, they were some of my friends. I started disassociating myself with them. I started actually hating them. I actually started disliking them because I felt that they had something that I didn't have. They had it better than I had. I actually started getting mad at my home life because why can't I get a cold lunch to bring up here? So I can be up there in line. Why couldn't I? Now, my friends trying to figure out what's wrong with Ty. How can he be so mad at us? I'm mad at them for something that's not even their fault. I'm getting mad at them because I'm the one that got a lunch card. They get to go first in line. But the fact that I was in the third grade and was able to piece that together to say in the third grade, look what I did. I conjured up my own perceptions of what my friends were. They weren't looking down on me. They didn't think they were better than me. I'm the one that came up with those false perceptions of what my friends were, not them. So when you talk about critical race theory, which is pretty much going to be teaching kids how to hate each other, how to dislike each other. That's pretty much, that's pretty much, say, it's pretty much what it's going to all come down to. You're going to deliberately teach kids this white kid right here got it better than you because he's white? You're going to purposely tell a white kid, oh, the black people are all down to suppress. How do I have two medical degrees if I'm sitting here oppressed? Yeah. How do I do it? No mom, no dad in the house. Work my way through college. Sat there and hustled my butt to get through college. You gonna tell me somebody that looked like all y'all white folks kept me from doing that? Are you serious? Not one white person ever came to me and say, well, son, you're never gonna be able to get to work because you know the black people. But guess what? What's sickening about this whole thing is what y'all doing right now is already something I do in my community right now to speak out against stuff because black folks are getting told by other black folks, oh, you know you ain't gonna be able to do nothing out there in the world because them white folks ain't gonna let you get no, oh, you know you're not gonna be able to do it here because you know, white, the, the white man, the white man gonna keep you down. Well, how did I get where I am right now if some white man kept me down? How am I now directing over folks that look just like you guys in this room right now? How? What, what, what kept me down? What oppressed me? I work for myself from off the streets to where I am right now. You gonna sit here and tell me this lie of critical race theory? Uh, this, this, this the reason why black folks can't get ahead because of white folks? Are you kidding me? This is what we come to now. I can't believe we even talking about this right now. The last thing we're gonna say right here is something that's crazy. Martin Luther King said he wanted his kids to grow up in a world where they are judged by the contents of their what? Character. Not their skin. Yeah, absolutely. If they let this stuff go on right now, it is absolutely doing the complete reverse of what he's doing. So when February comes, don't talk about Martin Luther King. When February comes, don't talk about black kids and mother dog will sit there and just pretty much pee on his grave with this nonsense. That's exactly what's about to happen. Lastly, we are talking about our kids. We are talking about our children. What's so sick about me? I love the Discovery Channel. You will see that on Discovery Channel, animals will put their lives on the line to protect their children from yeah. danger yeah. to protect their children from what we call predators. And what they do, they put their lives on the line from predators. What are we doing? Oh, just let the kids go, let, let, let anything happen to them. Let, let anybody, let, them, let bring in this sexuality stuff right there, pervert these children and all that. Let them know that, oh, if somebody touch you, oh, if it felt good to you, it's going to be okay. Nobody want to get to the heart of the matter, get to the meat of the matter, get to the moral of the story. It all comes down to it. The person that's going to be suffering from this, the one that's going to be hurt from this, is the kids. Yeah. Ten years from now, yeah. this stuff goes on, and we see that we produce a whole bunch of kids that's actually super sexually pedophile acting and all this stuff like that. Whose fault is it going to be? Whose fault is it going to be? Who are we going to look back on and blame for this? Because this is stuff we're talking about right now. This stuff is going on right now. I do this stuff on a daily basis. I'm in the hood. I'm in the communities. I'm out there with folks in their face. I've been doing this stuff since I was 18 years old, talking to black folks. And you know what? None of them are buying this nonsense. 
Yeah. None of them are. But if you want to implement this into the school system, I guarantee you to the day that I die, I'm going to be the very person right there debunking stuff, tearing stuff down, letting them know they can do exactly what I did and get exactly why I am by putting themselves to work and getting there. And they not one white person ever going to keep any of them from getting there. So CRT stuff, BS. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, my time is up. Okay, my time is up. I'm going to finish with this real quick. As far as the mask go, you talking about somebody mentioned a comment about there being common sense? I got two medical degrees. Guess what? When it comes to doing things with masks and all stuff like that, you got something called contact isolation or ice, certain things that's in the air, right? So when you go in there, you do something called the PPE, right? I go in there with a mask on to protect myself from certain airborne illnesses or drop precautions and all that. Guess what? I've been wearing a mask all this time. I've been working in the hospital for over 20 some odd years. I don't have COVID. Never had it. Never been vaccinated. I have not gotten anything whatsoever. Because guess what? I follow the ABCs of uh, medicine when it comes to wearing a mask. So I don't care what Dr. Fawcett or Fauci says, the basic common sense of it is, his email told you, it's not gonna help you from doing anything. So guess what? To this day, still haven't gotten COVID.